I wanted to show you some interesting things with notifications on Netlify. Uh, and today I particularly wanted to concentrate on the notifications you can get for your deploy previews that are built for you when you create a new pull request on your repository. So um, I'm going to use my own site again as a guinea pig for this. Uh, I want to make, a, make some changes. At the moment, uh, I have a form at the bottom of all of my blog posts uh, for a comment. Uh, and what happens uh, when someone submits that form, at the moment that just submits, I get a notification. Uh, that's just the, uh, the notifications for form submissions within Netlify. Um, but you'll notice there that I didn't fill any, any of the comment in. Uh, so I'm not doing any client side validation. Uh, and if I go over to Slack, you know, you see here's my here's my submission that happened that I get notified on. And I've actually built myself a little um, uh, comments engine, and I'll talk about how I did that another time. Uh, but for the moment, let's get this fixed. So um, uh, if we look at the code on in my GitHub repository for this, I actually created a fix already for this uh, called form validate. Um, now this is in a branch, but I want to create a pull request of that new feature. So I'll just use the standard uh, GitHub uh, mechanics for doing this. Um, and uh, so I can create the, the pull request right here. But before I actually pull the trigger on this, um, let's just configure something on Netlify because Netlify will create a build preview for me automatically, but it's most important that I get visibility of that that build to where it matters, which is in that issue itself, in that pull request. So if we look at our site settings uh, and go to the build and deploy settings, down at the bottom, we do have uh, the ability to create different notifications. So I have some set up already. So let's add uh, another one right now for a GitHub pull request. So since, uh, since we um, are going to be writing onto the GitHub pull request itself, we're going to need to have access to GitHub. Now, we've all already uh, authenticated on this account with GitHub, so we can just do that with one click. Um, we're going to create this notification for when the deploy starts. We can give it a meaningful message. By is generating a preview. Uh, and then we save that. Um, and let's also create one for when the request um, uh, the build is completed. So deploy uh, succeeded. Once again, we'll create our uh, GitHub authentication token. Um, and our preview is available to see the future. So this, uh, this build that's going to be created for us will show us what the, um, the state of the build will be once this pull request has been merged. So let's go and actually do this pull request now. So um, we've got some changes in here. Um, I'm not going to give a very descriptive comment. Naughty. But I'm creating the pull request now. And so GitHub is doing its thing, seeing if it can be automatically merged. And in the background now, we should see uh, that um, uh, Netlify is starting a build and we'll get a notification. Okay, so there we are. We've got our uh, build being generated at the moment. And what we could do while we're waiting for that to complete, we could actually click directly through and see the state of that build. So here we are, here's our, our build happening with the logs logs coming through. Um, but let's, let's go back to where we were and see if we get an update uh, when that's completed. And there we have it, yeah. So now we have a link to uh, our completed build preview um, right there in a GitHub message. So this is really useful so we can see uh, the conversation, maybe if I described it a little bit more, uh, we'll see uh, the conversation around the pull request going on uh, and then the link right there in place to see the build of what will happen uh, when that is merged. So let's uh, let's just go and explore that a little bit. You'll see it's on a, a URL which is related to the um, pull request uh, number. Um, let's go back to exactly the same place we were in before uh, and now see, um, yeah, there we have it. So we've got our form validation uh, in place now uh, so that we can uh, we can weed out some of those empty comments I'll be getting. So there we are. That's notifications from Netlify going directly through to your GitHub issues. So you can see uh, links to your new builds being created for your pull requests right there in GitHub on your pull requests themselves. Um, I hope that was useful and we'll look at something else another time.